You say we can, uh, you have to be like a motto pack, uh, a chairman as a tout. The ex governor of River State, you say we can, it's not a responsible man, it's a tug. And we don't need such tug in any administrative. Appointment. Following the rumors of rift between the incumbent governor of River State, Simna Lai Fubara, and the immediate past governor, Yisam Wike, which allegedly led to the burning of the state's House of Assembly and the commencement of impeachment process against the sitting governor, some prominent Nigerians have started to react, one of which is a human rights activist and the president and founder, One Love Foundation, Chief Patrick Ikala, popularly known as Ultimate Equal. It's ministerial or whether it's governorship and all that, okay? The River State has not recovered from him. He destroyed River State. Shows you fly over, invite people, spend the location however you want to spend it. We should see this coming. Whatever business he has with the present governor is between him and the present governor. He doesn't hold water for the River State people. It's clear that the River State people deserve a better governance, all right? Whether he came through governorism or not, it's inconsequential. It's not important to me, right? In as much I don't like Godwin or Baseki, I don't like him, I don't like his policy, I don't hate him, it's not impersonal. I don't Oshomole try the same thing in those states. But Godwin or Baseki resisted him, said, it has to be the people before the godfather. And that's what the gentleman is doing his rivers. The bulk of this blame goes to the member elected, if they were elected in House of Assembly. Because every constituency has representations. For one person from Abuja to dictate to the governor when to travel or when to sign a check, it's preposterous. Governor is a wiki, is a detector, it's uh, an emperor, it's not a governor. But the River State people were very docile and they accepted its nuisance value for eight years. He cannot happen in a do state where the likes of Chief Dr. Patrick Osage Magbon, a hollow or Timothy Cross is from. It's not, it will not. No governor, no governor can treat us as a conquered people. And that's what Yinke Winsi did for eight years. And that's what you think he can still do. So I think the River State people should resist him. I think the House of Assembly there should be responsible because they are representing the people's interests. Let me tell you something, Lato. <laughs> the House of Assembly members are more powerful than the governor of a state if they unanimously agree together because they are the one who can impeach the governor if they feel that the governor is doing what is wrong. But in this case, I'm not a lawyer, but I know that in section 188 sub section 2B, clearly said and defined that in order for you to impeach a governor, you have to show that the governor has misappropriated the funds of the state, the government is not doing the beat or the will of the people. But there's also a section there on section 188, section 11, that is ambiguously not stated that the House of Assembly can come out with certain things, which of course I, I, I will have to approach the National Assembly to explain that away, that it can come with certain files to say the governor has not done right and then the governor is due for impeachment. And even at that is procedure, you have to write to the governor first that we are going to impeach you. This is what you did wrong. A due process has not been followed. And Winke told that place the motor park. Winke, you should be ashamed of yourself, Winke. Ashamed of yourself. And let the river state people breathe. The fact is that there's no law in Nigeria. People don't abide to rules and regulations or to the law. A country where when even if you forge certificates it's acceptable. A fourteen where we celebrate what is wrong. A country where the judiciary doesn't have the 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 the, 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 the audacity, you know, to speak true to power at it might uh, be in, in the past. A country where the judiciary doesn't know they have all the power that they are next to God. So this is what you expect for a one, a governor who's supposed to be 
uh, Immortal Park chairman. But I don't think uh, <laughs> the governor has such power. I think the governor is speaking on the basis of the strength of the people because power belongs to the people. So I believe that the people of River State are with the governor. And I think it's time for Godfatherism for to be over. I've been fighting this Godfatherism for a very long time. I fought alongside with uh, Adam Sushomole when I thought he was one who is very credible, you know, and we succeeded to ensure that he won first and he won second. But until we found out that he was not just a guy who wear khaki in the day and wear white lace in the night, you know. So they are all the same thing, you know. And I, I don't know what uh, country they are going to leave for their children with this, you know. And uh, I hope the uh, the um, River State people come unanimously together to resist uh, Yinse Wike. Yinse Wike, uh, you have to be like a motto pack. Uh, a chairman, as a tout, you know. I never had respect for him. I've written a lot of articles about him. I was hoping that one day he would take me to God. But it's my, it's a, it's a freedom of speech. I have it. And uh, don't also forget that there was a lot of abuse of power. There's a lot of money, river state money, that he took illegally to finance his presidential bid election that he fed abysmally. So the river state people have been li living like a conquered people. I've saw interviews where he will insult uh, prominent chiefs, uh, you know, where he will, he will be acting like Winky the drunk and all that, you know. We don't need such because the world is watching us, you know, and yet he's rewarded as a minister. He's a man who swore on his, on his life, on, on everything that is dear to him, that he will never be a VP to anybody, not to take any ministerial uh, nominee. If you cannot trust a messenger, you can't trust his message. Winky is good for nothing. Also speaking on the legal implications is a renowned legal practitioner, a two-time member of the House of Representatives and the former minority whip, Samson Osage. The situation in the River State House of Assembly and of course the entire River State government as we speak now uh, leaves much to be desired. Uh, there is a purported attempt to impeach the governor of the state uh, Similayo Fubara uh, by the State House of Assembly. As at yesterday, 30th of October 2023, uh, two factions of the House of Assembly have emerged with each side uh, taking some drastic steps in order to alter the configuration of the House of Assembly in terms of its leadership. And uh, one of the sides is said to have signed impeachment notice against the governor of the state, and the other side is said to have also. Uh, removed the speaker and suspended the chief judge of the state. Now, impeachment proceedings as encapsulated in section 188 of the constitution requires that the House of Assembly intending to impeach the governor must begin the process by at least a simple majority of the members of the House uh, signs an impeachment notice and serves him you know, within seven days on the governor or the deputy governor, as the case may be. The governor or the deputy governor will have within 14 days to respond to the notice of allegations of impeachment. If he responds, the Speaker of the House shall convene the House, you know, to, to deliberate on the response or non-response of the holder of the office or the governor in order to determine whether to go ahead to investigate the allegations. If the House uh, resolves to, uh, to investigate the allegations, then it invites the chief judge to set up a panel of, uh, of uh, investigators to look into the case. If the chief judge, who has a right to, to set up a panel of investigator, investigations, uh, uh, set up the panel, then the panel has within three months within which to carry out the investigation, and the holder of the office or the governor or the deputy governor can either represent himself or be represented by a legal practitioner of his choice in order to defend the allegations against him. If at the end of the investigation, uh, the panel finds that those allegations have been proved, then it reports back to the House who shall debate the investigative report and decide whether or not uh, the holder of the office should be uh, impeached or not. So, in other words, the situation that has just started in the River State House for Assembly right now uh, promises to be very interesting. Uh, the House at the moment is in a legal conundrum. 
uh, with two sides of the house claiming uh, uh, leadership of the house. And the other angle to it is the unconstitutional suspension of the chief judge of the state. Section 292 of the constitution does not contemplate a situation where the House of Assembly can suspend the chief judge. That is not within the contemplation of Section 292, which stipulates the procedure uh, for removing a judicial officer, a chief judge for that matter, from office. So in all, I believe that uh, there are political undertones and underpinnings uh, to the issues in the river state. This is not the first time issues of successors and predecessors in politics is surfacing. As according to a recent interview, Governor Yusum Wike disclosed that he would not be perturbed because the aim of any governor is to serve the state and the people and not to take others from godfathers. But the reverse seemed to be the case. As according to reports, Governor Yusum Wike is closely watching Governor Sim's dealings and that he also picked members of his cabinet. Meanwhile, Governor Siminalai Fubara has called on the people of the state to defend their commonwealth against those he described as enemies of the state, noting that any attempt to impeach him will be resisted. Adesua Latu, Gold Point Media.